All right. Welcome back to another show, everybody. This is you may Roscoe. I am Roscoe. I'm here with my partner in crime, OG Zoe. And uh, today's show, um, I actually uh, have somebody who's very near and dear to me, um, a, a family member of mine, my, my, my cousin, man. Uh, crazy enough, we haven't actually like laid eyes on each other up until today for more than a decade or so. It's, it's probably been longer than that, but I yeah, like to say, 1989. Right, right, right. It's been it's been long. It's been a long time. But um, I like to introduce um my cousin. You know, um, a dear loved one. Like I said, his name is John Handy. Um, I call him Boo Jack. You know, I don't know if he's comfortable with y'all with, with y'all doing all that. You know, but <laughs> too late now. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, but that's what I call him. But yeah, um, he did that there already. <laughs> right, right. He's like, it'll have to do. <laughs> yeah. But but anyway, um, I, I brought I brought John here with us today because I wanted to give him an opportunity um, to uh, to present something uh, to you all um, as uh, because he we got a chance to talk over the phone uh, a couple of days ago and he was telling me about a nonprofit uh, organization that he was interested in getting started and I thought that it was good information to be able to um, get out to the world. And so um, without further ado, I'll uh, allow my cousin to go ahead and reintroduce himself and uh, kind of give, you know, like uh, where you're based at, you know, and all that good stuff. So you can go ahead, cuz. Okay, yeah, uh, how y'all doing out there? My name is John Handy. Uh, I'm right now, I'm in uh, Topeka, Kansas, uh, you know, where we are launching this new non-for-profit organization that's dealing with at-risk use. Um, you know, the non-for-profit organization is, is based on Christianity. You know, I know many black individuals, you know, don't believe that Christianity, you know, is our way of life. But, you know, hopefully by the time that this show is over with, uh, man, you know, I can give you some some good information, you know, to help you start searching and seeking the word, you know, versus being a critical object of the word. And, um, you know, the reason why we are formulating this at risk youth uh, non for profit organization, because it's so many youth out there, men, I mean, boys and girls, you know, who do not understand the true meaning of family structure. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so we just trying to reiterate this, this, this information, you know, just as well as this strength, you know, back into the African-American, Latino, just as well as white families, because right now today in the United States of America, the, this whole entire place, you know, is considered a ghetto and we lack in, you know, fatherhood, motherhood, uh, 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 character traits. That's dope, that's dope. Um, let, let, let me ask you a question. Um, when, when, when exactly, or uh, like, how did you get involved with this? Like, when, when did this whole journey kind of start for you? Well, you know, back in 1989, as you know, I was sentenced to 35 years incarceration in the actual state of Illinois, you know what I'm saying, where I completed 17 years, six months, and two weeks. And, um, you know, during that time of my incarceration, you know, I went through a deep transitional period you know, I like to call it celebrate recovery, you know, because I was in my recovery, but but the thing doing that recovery, you know, to me, it was about the process, you know, and uh, man, you know, I've never really understood, you know, why I took myself through so much stuff, you know what I'm saying? But in, in, in actuality, God was working through me because his process for me to be the person that I am right now was what was actually taking place. And, you know, I can't really say, you know, that, uh, you know, as a child, I was lacking things, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But, 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 but one thing that I can say is that I wasn't really challenged, you know, because I was born with dyslexia, you know, I'm not holding that as no stronghold because that's just a figurative imagination of the mind you see right. what i'm saying but right. now i understand that the reason why you know my life was on pause you know far as me progressing to bigger and better things because some people need to get ready 
you know, doing the process so they can understand, you know, how not to make those same kind of mistakes. So right now to this day in 2022, you know what I'm saying? God has allowed me to become the man that I am because I'm utilizing everything that I misunderstood in my past is has becoming somebody else's future education. Right, right. And and um and, and now and now that you uh, have the plans to get the um, non for profit organization started and all that, um, I mean, uh, I, I can see how how getting the kids uh, involved, how it intertwines and all that. But is this something that you that you started with, like um, through uh, some type of church or? Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yes and no. Uh, well, the non for profit organization uh, was basically created in my mind, and um, but but right now, you know, uh, 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 yes, my church has definitely become my launching pad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 and uh, right now, you know, I go to a church called Central Park Community Church. You know, here in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, uh, but not just my church, but you know what I'm saying. I'm also, you know, connected you know, with this uh, non-for-profit organization called One Heart, uh, you know, where they actually, you know, deal with youth, you know, who's coming out of the uh, uh, um, the, the actual uh, uh, justice system, you know what I'm saying? So, so, uh, so right now, uh, you know, we taking on youth, you know, who has been convicted, you know, you know, of like, you know, similar crimes, you know, from theft to whatever it is, you know, a uh, 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 school absentees, you know what I'm saying? So so what the judge does is he recommend the actual kids, you know, to the one heart, uh, a non-for-profit organization, you know, where I am a, a mentor right now, you know, and that's how we actually get the individuals. And, um, and um, you know, not just one heart, um, um, I also have been connecting with this uh, non-for-profit organization here called SENT. And uh, man, sent, uh, you know, they deal with, you know, uh, poverty kids, neighborhoods and whatever, man. And, um, you know, we just trying to uplift, you know, humanity, you know, you know, through our, uh, uh, you know, contributions, you know, of self-giving, you know, because money is cool. But 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 the problem I have with you giving individuals money is that if they don't have the education, you, you see what I'm saying? You know, you, you know, to utilize those kind of funds, you basically putting them back into a worse situation. You, 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 you see what I'm saying? So, you know, right now, man, my church, uh, Central Park Community uh, uh, Church, you know, uh, One Heart, and just as well as this none for profit organization called Scent. And uh, man, Scent is doing major things here in Topeka, Kansas, uh, in the High Crest area. You know, so, you know, that's what we doing. And, you know, not just them, um, man, you know, as I continue to, you know, share the vision that God put on my heart, you know, he has continued to open up doors, you know, for other organizations, you know, to get involved. Wow. No, that sounds like uh, some real good stuff. That sounds like um, stuff that the communities uh, need, definitely, you know, um, uh, that there are like a lot of at-risk youth that are out there that could really use programs um, like these, not not just where you are, but just all over the place, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, no, I, I think that that's great stuff that you're doing. You know, is it, the, the, the organizations that you named, are, are these like um, huge organizations? Like, so, like how many people are involved with, with like these well, uh, right, man, Scent is one of the biggest organizations here in Topeka, Kansas, bro. They, man, they got, you know, well, you know what I'm saying? Most of them are, well, all of them are Bible-based church, I mean, uh, uh, organizations. And, um, uh, you know, Scent evolved from High Crest Church. You know what I'm saying? One Heart, you know, One Heart, a non-for-profit organization, I really don't know the actual origins, you know, from where they're based from, but, but, but I do know, uh, uh, for a fact, you know, that, that One Heart is a Christian based non-for-profit organization that's dealing with at-risk use. Uh, 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 you got individuals, uh, you know, from my church, 
uh, uh, which is uh, Central Park Community Church, uh, which is uh, the director. Uh, his name is Victor Hercules. You know, he goes to my church and, you know, I'm, you know, I go to the church and, you know, then we also, you know, you know, we got other entities involved, you know, it, it, it's, it's huge, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like citywide, you know what I'm saying? But, but the thing that we lack in, you know, just like the Bible uh, speaks about, you know what I mean? That the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, you know? So that's why I'm coming on. And man, uh, man, Roscoe, I really appreciate you, you know, granting this opportunity, you know, you know, so people can understand that, 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 that laborers are needed, man. You know, I'm talking about, you know, you know, you ain't just got to be, you know, a, 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 you know, a reformed gang member, whatever church guy, you know what I'm saying? You know, you could be just a caring citizen. You, 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 you see what I'm saying? You know, right. who's willing to, you know, divulge your time, you know what I'm saying, just as well as your effort, you know, to become effective, you know, in one of these youth lives. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I, I do think that's something that's big. I, I, I think it's big that you pointed that out too, that that it is bigger than, your, you know, the monetary um, aspect of it, because people are always thinking that um, throwing money at the problem is going to help when yeah. you know like you like you was describing um the actual physical efforts of you know um uh nurturing these kids and making sure that you that that, that they be steered in the right direction so um i think that's big uh, i really do you know um so i I'm, i know you ain't had a chance to get to say nothing you can go ahead i'm sorry i was just gonna ask you do you, do you hold like pu public events where it's like uh like for the communities and stuff like to get uh further reach in, in the communities like like well uh, or like, yes. like picnics or something well hey i'm glad you said that man because you know what i'm saying that's on my agenda for this coming summer you you uh, uh you see what i'm saying but 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 as of now uh like i said i'm not a part of scent you know what i'm saying but but scent has been doing a whole lot of stuff you know, here in Topeka, Kansas. And um, just about two Saturdays ago, uh, we had like this expo, you know, well, well, I can't say we, they had this, uh, this, this, this actually expo, um, uh, you know, bring into life, you know, uh, uh, you know, personal businesses, you, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? So, okay. so, you know, and, and the good thing about that was that, you know, it became a community effort. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you had, you know, different vendors there. You know, they they doing from personal jewelry, you know, man, from slippers to man to man to some of everything. You know, uh, 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 health insurance, uh, 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 um, um, uh, you know, psychological help. You know what I'm saying? Counselors was there. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's definitely been a community outreach type situation. Now, 2022 summer, my goal and what, you know, and actually what I'm believing God to do, uh, you know, is to move me into the forefront because I can connect more, you know, with these communities that I'm aiming at. And um, to be honest with you, man, you know, man, one of the most, uh, man, torn down communities here in Topeka, Kansas, you know, which is uh, a Central Park area. You know what I'm saying? Central Park area, you know, man, it's a mixture of whites, blacks, as well as Latinos. You see what I'm saying? But but the thing is, you know, it's one of the most parvish, hugest areas. So, you know, that's going to be my aim, you know, uh, along with my church, uh, you know, uh, uh, Central Park uh, uh, Community Church, as you know what I'm saying, we are going to be out in the park. And uh, man, I just want to make one more mention for this organization called no, Siapu. Yeah, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's it's an organization, you know, called Siapu. Um, uh, uh, it's with Bill White and his family. You know, the White family, you know, uh, they come out of uh, a, a, a Central Park community church, you know, where they go to the park every Sunday, you know, and they pass out books, drinks, food, you know, so, you know, so we making just as small impact you know what i'm saying you know to let the people know you know that the church understand you know certain needs you know what i'm saying you know 
And, and you know, that's why I believe, you know, God brought me in, you, you know, so I can start, you know, connecting with, with the rough side of life, you know what I'm saying? You know, with the bangers, you know, the slangers of, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, because I'm more, you know, familiar with that aspect. So man, yeah. like I said, man, I'm believing God, you know, man, to move real mildly, you know, for the summer of 2022. Damn. No, that's love. That's love. That's that's good stuff. Um, like I said uh, before, uh, I'm glad that we got a chance to do this because uh, yeah. this, this this needed to be presented to the world. Um, we need more programs like this going on yeah. um, all over the place because we got we we, we got um, a huge sect of not just uh, black and brown men, you know, just just uh, men in general who are being forgotten about in, in, in right. the system, you know? And so so to have programs like this and um, people like you who are willing to put forth, um, uh, again, not just throwing money uh, at it, but actual time, like Zoe said. So yeah, no, this is, this is big, dude. And um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what else to say beyond that. Um, what about you, Zoe? I mean, I look forward to hearing anything about the the future, man. I, I hope you the best, and uh, you know, we definitely need something because there's a lot of people out here struggling. Mental illness is real, and and yeah, like you said, you have to have the education behind it. You can't you can't give a person money with mental illness and just think they're gonna be fine. You know, yeah. that's why they're in that situation they're in. So, yeah, man, kudos to you, man, and uh, I look forward to hearing about uh, any endeavors in the future, man. Oh uh, yeah, man. Hey, I, I I definitely appreciate that. You know, hey, but I just want to introduce one thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. you know that the non for profit, or the non for profit uh, organization that I'm, you know, finna bring into the forefront is called Building Effective Youth. You know, and um and um, you know, I roll off a ten point platform. You know, and and and, and you know, if I have a brief moment. Uh, you know, I would just like to share, you know, the actual 10 point platform, because I believe that this is what's going, you know, bring about the change within our society. Um, oh, that's you dope. know, Let's hear yeah, it. you know, it's, 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 it says, you know, these 10 words are the gears towards building effective use to install within them a better tomorrow with hope as its motivating force of operation in our community. These 10 words also can become the new character and face of the positive direction of youth effectiveness in the day, I mean, in today's age and time and serve as a model. Now, these 10 words are re-education, you know what I'm saying, to train again, uh, respect to consider worthy of high regard, reform, to put or change into an improved form or condition, restructure, organ, uh, organize, definitely resurrect, restore a dead person back to life, and uh, and and uh, recuperate, recover from illness. You you see what I'm saying? Redirect, direct something to a new, different place or purpose and responsibility the state or fact of being accountable, relax to make less tense or rigid. And the last one is reward, to give a reward to or for. Now, I chose those 10 words, man, because it will uplift just as well as rehabilitate the minds of any individual, not just a youth. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But any individual and God willing, once it's worked out the right way, man, we would definitely be able to turn out a new young community for America, man. Powerful words, powerful words. Uh, right. and, yeah, no, 10, 10, 10 hours, man. I love it. I love it. So um, with that being said, um, I want to, I want to, of course, uh, tell you guys or uh, make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, to the page you made, Roscoe. Um, you can also go to the Facebook page. Uh, it's also you made, Roscoe, where we post the videos there as well. So 
you'll get a chance to see those there if you don't come here on YouTube. But um, yeah, no, that 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 was great stuff. Again, um, is there like any any like uh, addresses or any any like numbers to uh, get in contact with you? Because there may be some people who actually uh, see this video and want to get involved with you in some way to help you uh, push along um, some of those things that are happening with the programs you're working with. So. Oh, yeah, man. Cool. Yeah, man. Uh, of course, man. You know what I'm saying? My phone number is 785-845-0263. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, you know, the, the actual address, you know, of my church is 1537 Southwest Clay Street, Topeka, Kansas. You know, a uh, 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 Central Park Community Church. I'm there every Sunday. Oh, and, and, and another thing I want to share with you, brother, mm -hmm. I've been preaching you know, at the church and um last night, uh uh Tuesday night, you know, uh man, I actually uh you know brought the word, you know, for this uh group, you know, that I lead some Tuesdays called uh Arrow Recovery, you know, here in Topeka, Kansas, you know, 6 30, you know, um, you know, Tuesday nights, you know what I'm saying? I spoke last night and and uh and also, you know, uh Sunday evening teachings you know, at my church at uh, Central Park Community Church, you know, each, you know, each and different people, you know, get a chance to uh, preach and to bring the word, man, man, I will welcome, you know, anyone, man, if they got any type of, uh, you know, questions about the Bible, uh, you know, where do we find place in that? I do not mind praying to God that the Holy Spirit allow me to show you, you see what I'm saying? The actual transitioning us from the beginning of time to right now, you know, to this day, that we are definitely strong biblical figures, you know what I'm saying, you know, in that Bible, man, you know, so, man, yeah, man, Topeka, Kansas is where I'm at, like I said, 785-845-0263, uh, Central Park Community Church, uh, 1535 Southwest Clay Street, you know, we here, man, we open, man, for anybody, you know, come join us, just come chat whatever, you know what I'm saying? Rap with us, you know, check us out, man. You know, you never know what you might find. Yeah. Get down there and mess with my cousin, man. That's yeah. what <laughs> <laughs> You know, so. Show it up, man. Show it up, man. Hey, no. Joe, we ready. We yeah. ready. You <laughs> ready. <laughs> no, I, lo I love it, man. I love it. I'm so glad we got a chance to do this, man. Uh, anything you want to add, Zoe, before we get up out of here, man? No man, I, mean, I definitely like the the grassroots. Like like I've told Rodney, we uh, Oscar, we've had plenty of conversations about shit like this, and I I always say it's like you have to start off where you're at and and, and start that web, and it trickles down to other people. So I I'm definitely with it. Uh, I, no, I, I'm, I'm I'm wishing you I'm wishing you nothing but the um the the, the best in your endeavors, man. Um, God willing. That everything that you um, set set forth to make happen is gonna actually manifest itself. I really believe that because um, you always been a powerful dude. You know. Um, <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the that's the real stuff. You know. Um, yeah. From no. I, I never seen I never seen a guy you know just to go get lighthearted for a second. But uh, going back to going going back to when we was kids, man, we was we was we was like thirteen. We like thirteen. I ain't never seen a thirteen year old like have such command over grown ups like this. That we have, man. So it was just it was just really weird, you know, seeing that, you know. So, yeah. I don't know, man. But, but yeah, you you always been a powerful dude, man. So. Um, but I see, hey. Yeah, hey, hey, Roscoe, don't let the cat out of the bag. They don't know that yet, but they're going to get a chance to see how we really get that. <laughs> no, that's real. That's real, man. So, so um, like, like, I, like I said, man, get down there and, um, and help, help my cousin with his programs, you know, um, that he's going, it got going down there in Topeka, um, the church, like he said, come down there and holler at him. You know, he's, he's available to you, as you can see. And um, we're, we're going to end it uh, with just saying, like I said, man, that um, I'm hoping that everything just is uh, fruitful for you. 
in the future um, going forward. And that's all I got. Man, thank you, man. And praise God, brother. Thank you. Thank yes, you. indeed. So we're going to get up out of here and we will see you guys again really, really soon. So uh, until next time. Peace. Deuces.